Did Perplex give the girls a bomb highlight and cheek contour duo? We're gonna find out in this video when I try to do a no makeup makeup Halloween look. Hey guys, what up? It's Idesty. Welcome back. And I'm trying to help you guys get the LA lifestyle through skincare and thriftwear. So if that's what you're into, hit that subscribe button below. We're getting the glow up on this year. We're getting the glow up in 2020. So I've already done my skincare routine. Um, so I know I look a little crazy. I'm going to do the hair along with the look as well, but I'm going to try to keep this as quickly and as short as possible. So my skincare routine is already done. Um, my skin is prepped, moisturized, ready to go. Here are the palettes right here. Aren't they so cute? I love it. They're like holographic and reflective and all that kind of stuff. Um, so as many of you guys know, this is not a makeup channel because I am a Yo skin always is better kind of person, but there is an occasion where I like to put a little something something on my face Just to give me that little extra, you know boost of something going on Let's say you have a Halloween party to go to but you're not really a makeup person You don't want to go and get all cake faced up. You're just trying to be cute and low-key. So I got my little Batman Joker Top on so I'm gonna just go ahead and jump into it pretty much what I really want to do is see if these two can kind of replace um and even give like a little a little upper echelon, a little elevated look to my normal um, makeup routine that I do on a regular basis. A lot of times when you guys see me jump on this channel, this is the makeup routine that I have. So I usually kind of start out with my highlighters and things like that and my Fenty Matchsticks contour, but we're switching this out today and we're gonna jump in and try to use these instead. So let me, let me uh, start with the Cheek Rebellion. So this is a cheek kind of blush and contour kit. This retails for $15 on their web, 15, is it 15? I'm pretty sure it's either 15 or 16 bucks on their website. So great price for something. Well, we're gonna see what the quality's like, but so far that's a pretty good price. That's very much along the um, price range of like drugstore products, but the packaging is like 10 times cuter. So um, Perplex is a, they're a pretty small company. I actually met them at BeautyCon very, 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 very briefly. And uh, so they actually gave me these palettes to, to review and check out for you guys. So normally I'm pretty scared of, um, sorry if this is like reflecting off. Normally I'm pretty scared of chalky powder contour just because as you guys know I love the glow so I use a lot of moisture rich products on my skin. So I'm gonna just, we we're gonna, we're gonna see what this looks like. This is a thicker shadow brush, but I like using it for contour too occasionally. This has six shades in this palette. We have Polarized, which is this one here. Uh, retrograde, that's a cute name. Uh, switch, Low Key, Vibe, and Stun. So these are all really, really cute names. All of their products pretty much have cute names. Okay, so actually, um, this is a Retrograde right here. Let me swatch a Switch. So they're pretty, they're actually pretty pigmented. I'm surprised. Oh, that's kind of, that's a little on the chalk side. Polarize, it's low key. That's cute. I actually might use that for my blush. Vibe. Mm, that one kind of doesn't really show up. Stun. Ooh, that's a really nice kind of rich color. It's kind of like a raspberry kind of color. So I think I'm going to go in with retrograde. I like the fact that it, okay, there is, Ooh, ooh, I dipped my brush in there twice and all this product came out. So let me tap some of that off. I know some of you guys are like, what is she doing? She just going straight in? Yes, because this is how I do my normal makeup routine. I just literally go right on top of my skin. It, I literally do a your skin but better. Like there's no need for me to put a, a cake ton of foundation on. Oh, okay, so I'm actually kind of liking this. Let me blend this out a little bit. I'm liking that. Let me blend that out a little bit more. Now let me grab my, the, the Rebel Light palette. This one is as well $15 to $16, which is cool, which is cool. We like that price range. And so they come in these little like holographic outer cases and then you open it up. Look how cute that is. I just, I love their packaging. And if you go on their website, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like Pat McGrath, like their branding and everything. Like everything's really dark and kind of like glitchy and like futuristic, but like throwback. Like it just, they have a really, really cool kind of branding. Ooh, okay. So let me take the plastic off that. So we have six highlights in here. You see that? That mess is beaming, yo. That mess is beaming. Okay, so this is Highlight Press Pigment Palette. And we have six shades. So we have Dark Matter, which is this one here. Uh, Dynamo G heat death. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see because it's like 
major and new wave so let me uh, swatch these for you guys too so I, I just went to wash it off it actually doesn't wash off that easily considering it's so like creamy I thought like the second water hit it it was just gonna slide off my hands but it didn't let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys I'm so excited my arms still a little bit damp hold on hydrate hydrate Ooh, yes girl so this is dark matter like it's hard to see just how amazing that is. I'm gonna zoom in too, that way you guys can see this a little bit better. So this one here, this is Dark Matter. This is Dynamo, G, uh, Heat Death. This is Major, and this is New Wave. So look at that, like these are bomb. Like I love the colors of, I don't even know which one I'm gonna use. Hold on, let me write this up. I'm so excited! Boom, okay, so let's just go. I'm excited. I just want to jump in. Okay, I actually want to try applying these with my hands just because they look so... Okay, which one should I use? I almost wish that they had kind of like a tan beige one that was like maybe a little bit lighter. Like major looks like it's gonna be interesting. Let me just... Wow. You guys see that? Ooh, girl. She coming through for the chicky poos with that one. That's major. Major is truly major. And it blends really well with my finger, which I thought was, I was a little scared about at first. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of conce concealer because she's looking a little, she's looking a little tired. Girl, she's coming through for the, for the chicky poos. Okay, I love this shade, this shade is bomb. Like literally, this is what I need in my life when I'm trying to, look at that. Boom, boom, a little bit more. I just need a little bit more. And it blends out so well. I feel like a lot of these kind of drugstore highlighters and things like that, they're just super, super chalky, you know what I mean? Let me try using just a little bit of that as a bronzer. That's just, it's really red, kind of an undertone, a little bit, ooh. MS blends right in, like, All right, let me do blush. So what shade should we go for? I kind of liked low key, low key was cute. Low key was cute, let me maybe vibe. No, no, no. Vibe, vibe is a little bit on the chocolate side, just a little bit. Let me try stun. Stun was a very, very pretty. Maybe I should mix. Sh should I mix these two? I really like low key. Um, just because it's kind of in the same family as a lot of the other kind of blushes that I use. It's kind of that dusty rose kind of vibe going on. Let me just grab a little bit of both. You definitely have to shake these out just a little bit because you will end up... Oh, man, that's pigmented. Just... Ooh. There is a lot of fallout with these, so you do have to be careful. Need some translucent powder to just tone this down a little bit it's interesting because a few of the other reviews that i saw of these products like the girls are doing full on beat like i feel like these palettes are really made for people doing full on beats because you can really like go ham and the pigment like is pretty pretty good i just really wanted to jump on here and kind of see if i can get these to work with my current routine that i got going on so let me just add a little bit more it's interesting because on camera I feel like it looks brighter than it really is. I went in my bathroom and I kind of like went outside, kind of looked at myself a little bit. And uh, it definitely looks a little bit more kind of toned down. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, add a little bit more highlight. Do I want to go with, oh, Dark Matter is so pretty. Let's just see what that looks like. I feel like Dark Matter would be a little bit of a better daytime highlight. <laughs> so to speak, as daylight as you can kind of possibly get. There's gonna be somebody on here that's like, you're doing everything out of order. This is how I do it though. It just makes sense for me and my skin type to just, especially because I don't put on foundation so it's not like I have to like really get a bunch of kind of layers going in a certain, now what I usually do for my eyeshadow is I usually, um, use highlighter and kind of bronzer for that. So I'm gonna try um, using Dynamo 
I don't want to get too crazy, so I'm just going to do, maybe I'll do Dynamo as an inner highlight. Translucent powder. My cheeks are just, they're radiant, they're feeling themselves, they're looking good. And I'm just going to go over the whole, oh, that's pretty. Oh man, that's pretty. And I'm mixing both G and Dark Matter. A little bit of brow gel. I'm just going to do a little bit of eyeliner on the top. Lip gloss. Just a little bit more highlight, just because we can. Just because it's here. Why not? Major. considering they're not cream, like they're not like chalky pressed. Let me fix the hair. Do we want to do white? Do we want to do pink? Let's see. Girl, for those of you that be doing full beats every day, like my, I'm impressed with you. Like that's, that's a whole thing in itself. <laughs> like I don't have the patience for all that. I'm like, I got, I got places to go, I got things to do. So I'm just gonna pull some of my hair out. It's hard doing this in my monitor instead of actually having like a full on mirror in front of me. All right guys, this is the finished look. So this is my no makeup, somewhat makeup Halloween look. You know, you just wanna, you wanna give a little bit of a character. You wanna give a little bit of a, a style, a little something. I got a little bit more color on, on my face than I normally do. I have a little bit more highlight, but it's not like a full beat. So for those of us girls that are super low key, tomboys, you wanna look like you tried for a Halloween party, but you don't wanna be all extra and have a costume and all that kind of crap. This is gonna be the look for you. This is what I'll be doing if I decide to go out, so. So far, what did I think about these palettes? Overall, I think the quality is great for 15 bucks. Honestly, like the, the Rebel Light palette, this highlight, these highlights are, I'm gonna be using these for shadows, I'm gonna be using these for highlight, I'm gonna be using these for whatever. These are freaking bomb. And then as far as the cheek blushes, I wish, I just wish they were a little bit more pigmented, just a little bit, just because of the fact that I am a brown girl, I'm a brown black girl, and I am not dark by any stretch of the imagination. There are definitely a lot of black and brown girls that are a lot more tan than me, and so they're gonna have a little bit of difficulty with this palette, but I feel like if you're around my shade and lighter, I feel like this is actually gonna be a very, very good palette for you. Um, Switch, Retrograde, these brown shades actually showed up pretty well. Um, way, way back, I tried a contour palette that was kind of similar to this, and these shades were around, they looked about as dark as this, but the pigment was no Nowhere near as rich as these and they just didn't show up at all and they made me look ashy like totally totally ashy and I know contour is supposed to have like a slight ashiness to it because it's like shadow but even then like it was just it was terrible it was pretty much just gray even though it looked like this in the palette so for 15 bucks this is great I love the branding I love the packaging it's super super cute now I love the fact that this is magnetic but I wish it did snap close because I can easily see somebody dropping this on the floor. I can easily see, um, you know, you throwing this in your bag and it just kind of getting all over the place. So I like the fact that it kind of has these like little slides, um, but these are cardboard. So I mean, after a while, they're kind of kind of give out. But for $15, honestly, like it's worth it. And I think they have like free shipping over 25 bucks. So love this palette. Um, just wish that some of the blushes were a little bit darker. And then as far as polarize, I can't really see myself using that, but I would say like the other five shades in here are very, very workable for me. Um, just for you darker babes, I know you're gonna struggle just a little bit. Although that last blush might show up on you and be actually pretty cute. This, on the other hand, I feel like everybody should be able to use some color in this. Like I was able to put like four or five, of the, you know, three, four, five of these on my face and have it look bomb. Also, if you guys wanna see my thrift haul, that's gonna be popping up next to my channel. So make sure you guys subscribe to be notified if that comes up and like this video if you wanna see more. I'll be posting more as usual. Make sure to do well and be well and I'll see you later. Bye. Ah, oh, listen to Missy, you know, and you just be like, yes. Yeah, so.